All right, so I got a little nephew, right? Now, me and him as tight as peas and carrots always have been, always will be. Little man comes over to the house sometime during the summertime, and little man's got to the point now that he's starting to like girls, and I mean like a lot. We was out raking leaves in the yard yesterday, and he's going just as hard as he could possibly go. Just, just raking and raking and raking. And I went over to him, I said, little man, you got to calm down, buddy. This ain't that damn important. You're going to hurt yourself. He looked up at me, and he said, Uncle Zach, I, I got to work hard. My daddy said I got to work hard if I want nice things. I said, that's true, man. Your dad's 100% correct, but not to the point of hurting yourself. We raking leaves. He said, well, Uncle Zach, I got to work hard. I only got four years until I get to high school. And if I want, to, if I want the girl that I want, I'm going to have to get me a nice truck. I got to get me a new truck, or she ain't going to want nothing to do with me. And I stopped what I I was doing and dropped the rake. I stopped what I was doing and dropped the rake because it was like deja vu because I remember having this same conversation with my dad when I was about his age. So I made him set down his rake and get in the truck and we took a little ride. Now he didn't know where we was going but I did. We was going to see my nanny, my 88 year old grandma because she is the most savage person in this, this entire world. She gives zero fucks about what she tells you and if it pisses you off because she's too old to give a damn. We walked in there and she got him a ice water and stuff like that. And we're just sitting in the den talking. I looked over at little man. I said, little man, tell nanny what you told me in the front yard. He said, what part? I said, all of it. Just tell nanny exactly what you told me before we came over here. He looked at nanny. He said, well, nanny, I, I, I want to work hard so I can get a nice truck. She goes, that's good, baby. He said, yeah, because I'm never going to get the girl that I want if I don't have a new vehicle. She stopped and her face changed immediately. And she looked at him. She said, son, let me tell you something. When me and Zach's grandpa got together, he didn't have no damn nice truck. When we used to pull up to the gas station, all right, he would fill up the oil while I checked the gas. That's how much oil that thing burnt. But we didn't care because we knew that if we stayed together, we were building something from nothing. All right, it ain't about the truck. It's about the woman riding shotgun and the, what that woman is willing to help you build. Now, she went on to tell him, and I've never heard this before. She's never told me this before, but it was a great analogy. She said, it's not about the woman riding shotgun. It's about what she will help you build. Some women help men build playhouses. Over time, playhouses deteriorate. They fall down. But some women want to go through the hardships and everything to build something from nothing to be proud of their man because of how much love that they have for him. And some women help men build brick houses. Now, why don't brick houses ever deteriorate? The little man just looked around. He said, I don't know, Nanny. Nanny looked at him and said, because it has a foundation. If you find somebody and you're already on top, you have nothing backing you up. You don't have any hardships, any hard times, or anything like that to go through. You find you a woman that comes from nothing, and you come from nothing, and y'all build it together, you'll never forget them days where y'all was grinding, and it makes you respect and love each other even more. And because of that, me and Zach's grandpa lasted 58 years in marriage until he decided to go to heaven with that being said son don't mess around with them bitches who, and she said this she goes don't mess around with them bitches who want to build playhouses find you one to build a foundation with and build a damn mansion on and little man ever since then has done nothing but talk about you know Zach, uncle zach i really don't think i like that girl that i thought i liked i i, I think i think i'm gonna wait around for one of them ones like nanny i said buddy we could only be so lucky to find one of them women like Nanny, but you gotta understand something, that was a different generation and they hard to come by. They out there, but you gotta be able to pick them out of the rough. Great lesson from Nanny this morning. Had to share that with y'all. It ain't about what you got. It's about the person in your life and what they're willing to go through in order to help you build something great. Love y'all. Shit. <laughs>